with this is Rich with RichesITblog.com. Today we're going to take a look at configuring basic print monitoring with Nagios Core 4. So first things first, let's go ahead and SSH into our Nagios server. And the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to configure our contacts template. And that will be located under user, local, Nagios, Etsy, objects. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and open the contacts.cfg file. And once we're there, we can go ahead and configure the email address or email addresses that we want this to go to. Uh, you can make this more complex if you'd like, but for the sake of simplicity for this demo, uh, we're just going to configure that to go to nagios at richesitblog.com. In production environment, you may want this to go to like an alerts distribution list or something of that nature. Okay, we're going to go ahead and save and exit now. So for the sake of this demo, we're going to look at monitoring a couple of different printers. Uh, I have a Dell uh, 2150CN set up, as well as a Xerox Work Center 7220. Okay, so getting back to our SSH window, uh, first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to copy the current printers.cfg file and make a backup of that, just in case something goes horribly wrong and we need to revert back later. Okay, now that we've done that, let's go ahead and open up that file. So the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to define the host. Um, so the one, first one that we're going to do is going to be the Dell printer. So we'll create the host name Dell underscore 2150CN. And the alias can be whatever you'd like it to be. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and call this one uh, Office Color. And now we need to go ahead and add the IP address for the printer. And we're going to go ahead and create a host definition for the Xerox. So we'll just copy the one that we've already created for the Dell. And we'll go in and substitute the name and IP information accordingly. Okay, so we can go ahead and leave the host group at its default name. Uh, Network Printers works just fine. You could customize that if you wish. Uh, now there's two different uh, default service definitions down here. Um, one of them is a check that checks the printer uh, using SNMP, and the other is just a simple ping. I don't have SNMP configured on these two printers, so for the sake of this demo, I'm going to go ahead and comment out that service definition. And when we come on down to the ping definition, uh, we just need to come in here to the host name and then add the host names of the printers as we defined them earlier in the host definitions. And those will just be separated by a comma. Okay, and I'm just going to make sure I got that last one correct there. All right, so one last detail. We need to change directory up one from where we're at currently and monitor the nagios.cfg file. This is where uh, it will tell it to actually pull these configuration files. As you can see, it's originally commented out. Let's just go ahead and simply remove that comment and we will save and exit. I suppose it'd help if I actually exited correctly. Okay. So now at this point, we can go ahead and restart the Nagios service. Service Nagios restart. Okay, and at this point, we can go ahead and open up the Nagios web page. And we can see that we have both of the printers listed there as well as the ping service. It'll take a little while for the initial checks, so I'm just going to go ahead and speed this up by rescheduling the next check to immediately. And we'll go ahead and give it a couple seconds there to perform those checks. All right, everything is lit up green and happy, and that's a wrap. Thank you for watching, and feel free to visit us at richesitblog.com. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. And that's